When you think about food vendors, you probably imagine food trucks, right? Well, over the last decade, they've grown in popularity almost on every street corner. But what about old school street carts where it all started? All week, we will feature some of the most popular carts in the Berg, starting with one in Bloomfield that has recently gone missing. I love that food cart graphic there. Oh, That's yeah. cute. We look good. So don't worry, Daisy. I found the you missing found cart. <laughs> Those that know, come see the fro. That is his motto. I'm talking about John Spellman, owner of the Shady Dog. And John, I have found you not on the corner uh, in Bloomfield where you normally are, but uh, it looks like we're in your driveway. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're my driver right now. I, uh, I fell last month and broke my wrist. Um, so I had to go through surgery and uh, plates and screws and all that so now I'm just kind of healing up so I can actually get back out on the corner. And so you're doing this just for PTL. I really appreciate yeah, this yeah. and I tell you people wrap around the corner in Bloomfield to get your dogs. I see the lines out there every day. I mean you've been doing this for some time. Right? Yeah I've been on that corner now for about 12 years you know so uh, I'm very lucky to be on that corner. It took me a long time to get there, but now that I'm there, it's just they can't get rid of me. All right, so what is it that people come to get? I mean, of course, it's your winning personality and, <laughs> the, and the hair. I'm really big in the afro. <laughs> uh, it's funny, the afro came after the cart started. Uh, it's kind of grew in its own perception, like a, its own personality. Its own personality. <laughs> like I couldn't even cut it now if I wanted to because yeah. it's such a part of my business now. Um, so people come to the cart, you know, they, they want a reasonable, good food for a reasonable price. Uh, I'm not stuffy. I'm pretty easygoing. You know, when I'm on that corner, I get to hoots and hollers from everybody. Yeah. You know, you can't pass by my corner without me seeing you. I mean, you. we're in your neighborhood now, and people are stopping, lining yeah. up for food. This is not where you're supposed to no. put what, What's on the grill there? All right, we'll take a look at on the grill right now. Now, uh, this is my signature quarter pound plus all beef hot dog right there. You know, you cook them up real nice, get a nice char on them, slice them up a little bit so they open up and cook real nice. Uh, this is my kibasi, which Ooh. I use a real nice kibasi. It's a pork and beef mixture, nice big pieces. Uh, you know, that's kind of like my specialty is the kibasi. When you get a piece of kibasi from me, you'll get a nice big piece. I'll, I'll get it on the grill. You know, a lot of people want to do it John's way. So people ask me what's John's way, and of course I go, I'm John. My <laughs> way is take the kibasi, put it up on the grill, get that nice char on it. Then uh, I take my special sweet barbecue glaze. I put that on there while it's on the grill. You know what I love about you, John? People can stop past your cart, and even if they don't have any money, it doesn't matter. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I I'm a big believer in today's day and age with everybody using plastic for everything, me being a cash business. That might hurt my business in the long run if I don't take cards. So what I end up doing for a lot of people, you can come by my cart anytime that I'm there with zero money and say, hey, Fro, I don't have any cash today. Can I get you next time? And I'll go, you're always good for it. You know, so guys know that when they come over, they can get lunch no matter if they have money or not on them. All right, so I'm going to dig into this. This is the kibasi right here, That is right? the kibasi, yes. Mm, John, now, when will you be back on your corner? Uh, with my therapy going as good as it's going, I'm hoping a couple of weeks, middle of July to the end of July, that I, I will be out there because it's going to be hot. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's the plan okay. at, at the end of this month. Okay, I'm dying to try this. <laughs> try that. Thanks, John, for coming into your driveway. After I dig in here, yes, there's, no, there's no coming back from this. <laughs> mm. That's it, don't mess around. Oh, Mikey, you couldn't even talk after that. You have the best assignment. That looked amazing. I'm so ready for hot dogs. You know, <laughs> as good as that hot dog was, you know what was more, more impressive than that? His the hair. Yeah, his the fro. hair. Reminds me perfect. of Bob Ross. <laughs>